A global shortage of silicon chips is hitting the tech industry at all levels. Many of Taiwan's biggest tech companies say they've been affected by the crisis. Some have been forced to stop taking orders until they can secure their supply of parts. The shortage does reflect, however, an unprecedented surge in demand for tech products. Experts say the crisis provoked by the pandemic might not be ironed out until at least 2022. Taiwan's high-tech industry may be at its strongest point in 30 years. Taiwanese chips are sought after worldwide. But the shortage of parts is infecting production lines across the industry. Now, even microcontrollers or MCUs are running short. MCU makers Holtec Semiconductor have given customers notice that they will no longer take orders for 2022. They plan to resume taking orders in mid-May after a new delivery of chips. Customers who've already put down deposits and orders may have the delivery dates renegotiated. The wafers used in cars are MCUs, so naturally, related electric products are running short. Secondly, of course, wafers are rising in price. The manufacturing of components, wafer testing and packaging are all getting more expensive. So that creates even greater shortages for wafers, both those used in cars and more generally. The domino effect of shortages has now swept throughout the tech industry. Barry Lam, chairman of Quanta, has publicly moaned about the problem, and Hong High Chairman Yang Liu says the crisis will not be resolved until the second quarter of 2022. Pegatron Chairman Tong Zixian also revealed the situation has hit his company. A shortage of parts is a very troubling state for an industry. We would define it as a sweet but very difficult situation. At the consumer end of the industry, End-user products like laptop computers are still growing in sales, as are internet connection products. Don't forget that information centers are still needing servers and all of those need lots of chips. Electric cars started growing fast this year. That's something car manufacturers never expected. So given all this, we can predict there will be no resolution to these shortages in the short term. The shortages have led some companies to take more orders than they can fulfill, as well as big price rises and the growth of related stocks. The unprecedented boom of high-tech looks set to be a bumpy ride for the next couple of years.